Frank Thistleforth. Most would consider the two horns that had erupted from his forehead and slicked backwards like his messy hair to be a giveaway. Others may pick up on the tail, fangs, or solid colours for eyes. I mean, if you could only tell by the colour of his skin that he was touched by a demon, then you need to rethink your priorities. Frank was left as a baby, abandoned in the woods as a gift to the gods. But Frank had other thoughts in mind. A tall elf named Aust stumbled across the baby, took him in and raised him. He learned the ways of the woods, to track animals, to respect nature and most importantly how to survive. He had become quite proficient as a ranger and with Aust to guide him, the two ventured through the lands thriving on what nature offered them. It was while they camped in a new forest by the coast that Frank would experience the event that took him from a stable-minded demonic nature lover to, well, Frank. While he was foraging for a light supper, Frank caught the sounds of someone approaching. He knew there was an house though. He would never have heard the clean-shaven, battle-scarred elf coming. So he took his bow, notched an arrow, and crouched into the bushes. The stench was the first thing that caught his attention. Goblins. Quite a few at that. They had clearly worked out that someone was about as they poked around and sniffed the air, weapons drawn. Frank couldn't remember how it started, if, if he fired first, if the ripple from the arrow that soared past his ear sent him into a fit of rage, or if he was simply spotted. Either way, arrows flew and blood painted the ground. The numbers were in the favour of the goblins, however. Slowly, Frank was pushed back through the woodlands. Feeling the ground shifting below his foot, Frank realised that he could not back up any further. Reached the edge of the cliff, no more was he shielded by trees, only the ocean behind him. His quiver empty, his arrows gone. Still, the goblins came. All seemed lost. Oust, the rusty but still tough elf, came hacking his way through the goblins with both grace and brutality. In a crimson ballet, he made his way to Frank. Run! Make a break for it and I'll cover you! Oust called as he got within touching distance, holding his hand up with his beloved axe tightly gripped. Three quick foots. The expression of the elf changed as he stumbled onto Frank. Oust. The added weight caused the earth to fall beneath his feet and the two tumbled down the edge of the cliff. Frank spent months at sea, searching for Oust without any luck. The isolation slowly drained his mind and will, until he gave up on his beloved mentor and he returned to shore, a changed man.
Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please remember to like and to subscribe and to share as well. Um, I've been working on some Inktober pieces as well. Um, so make sure you head over to my social media and check them out. Uh, I look forward to sharing more stuff with you folks in the future. Thanks. Enjoy autumn. And I hope you're looking forward to Halloween. See ya.